Hey makers, this is Truveen and in this episode we are going to talk about Microsoft Loop experience into Microsoft Teams. During Ignite 2021, the most promising feature was Microsoft Loop. We discussed about what is Microsoft Loop, what are Loop pages and what are Loop workspaces. So now in this session I am going to practically demonstrate about Loop components in detail in Microsoft Teams. So stay tuned. Also at the end of the session I will ask some quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out from my Instagram and YouTube page. So keep answering in the comment section. One more important announcement if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter account so far do follow me. The Instagram ID is power platform guy. This is the platform where I'm uploading short content on power platform. So stay connected with me on my Instagram and Twitter. So without further delay let's get started and talk about loop component in Microsoft Teams. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have opened my Microsoft Teams. In Microsoft Teams now we can use loop component. This feature is in preview at this moment and you are able to see six different loop components over here. Those loop components are checklist component, bullet list component, then number list component, then paragraph component. Apart from that we have different type of table component and task list component. I am going to explain all of those components in detail throughout this entire session. Also we will check how real time collaboration is work in Microsoft loop. With that we will also discuss about how this loop component are stored into loop pages. In order to get started with the loop component in Microsoft Teams. Basically first we need to activate one preview feature. Now how to activate preview feature let me show you step by step. For that go to Microsoft Teams admin center. Go to teams update policies and click on global property. From show preview feature make sure that you have enabled this feature and just click on apply. After you apply this will take some time in order to activate preview feature for your tenant. Once it is activated, open your Microsoft Teams. Click on three ellipses and click on about. From here, select public preview. Once you select this feature, basically it will tell you to restart your Microsoft Teams. So this will show this feature to you, public preview. So just click on switch to public preview and your Microsoft Teams will be restarted over here. Microsoft Teams has been restarted successfully. Now here I have created one of the teams called loop component and over here this is the chat message. Now let me explain you each loop component in detail over here. So first of all after you enable this preview feature you are able to see this loop component icon. Just click on that and over here you are able to see six different component. So let's get started with the bullet list first. So let me click on this bullet list. Now let me just give the name of my component. So I am just giving the name of my component is discussion topic for student and I am just adding five different topics over here. Now what I am going to do here is I am done with this component creation part. Now I need to send this to the team. So all the team member can access this particular loop component. Let me click on send component. And the component is looking like this. Now over here you can see that I am active at this moment. So I am able to see my icon over here. Now let's say in the team if another team member started working on. So let's say for an example you can see here one of the cursor. So this is the cursor which another user power platform dev has placed. And now he is typing something. So over here let's say he is typing power platform dev2 and you can see all the live changes we are able to see on my screen. Over here if you have many other users they can also collaborate in the same loop component 
and you can see that this power platform div is active over here and you can see this particular icon over here also one more important thing let's say for an example if you wanted to manage that who can access this loop component so just click on this and you can see that at this moment Dhruvin and Power Platform Dev2 are able to access this particular loop component. Now let's say if you wanted to share that with someone else then you simply need to click on this copy icon and then you need to share this link with someone else and you are good to go. Also one more important thing whenever you are adding any loop component over here so let's say I am adding this bullet list component so over that time you have an option to manage the permission as well. So let's say at this moment it is something which is people in your organization with the link will able to access this particular loop component. But if you want to restrict you can use these other options as well. This option are same as your other office products. So just try it by your own. Also one more important thing like let's say I am clicking on this link. So what happen here is it will basically open one fluid page into OneDrive for business and over here as well people can collaborate and make the changes. This is called loop pages and if we just expand that let's see where it is stored. So basically it is storing every information in OneDrive for business and if you go here to OneDrive for business this is the root folder and over here there is a folder Microsoft Teams chat file. Into this chat file, basically we are able to see .fluid extension file. These all files are created for our loop components. Right? So this is the basic information about the loop component. Now let me try different type of loop component over here onto my screen. Let me just add one more live component called checklist. Now when you add checklist, which type of checklist it will provide? Let's see. So let me just add this checklist. And over here let me just provide the title as checklist and now let me just send it now what happened here is this particular checklist is sent and now other users from your teams as well can coordinate in this particular checklist component so let's say another power platform dev2 is started typing something here that's this is checklist right and you can see the live reflection over here and you can also contribute by your own this is Dhruvin and at the same time the another user will able to see the live changes right so this is how this checklist component is look like and let's say if someone want to check the task they can simply do it like this right so this is the checklist component now let me show you some another example so the third component is numbered list so numbered list is something which is similar like this bulleted list. So instead of bullet we can have the number. So I already created so let me show that to you. So this is the number list this will looking like this. You can simply click on that you can uh, change the formatting and something like this. So this is cool. Now after that we have fourth important component which is paragraph. So which will provide you the simple paragraph component like this where multiple user can collaborate here so let's say power platform 2's cursor is here and he is active and I just wanted to add some more content over here so I can simply add that over here right so this is the paragraph component then the fifth one is table component now table component is something which allows you to create a table in form of rows and columns once you add the table component basically it will provide you the row and column structure so over here you can see that i have added different type of parameters and what is the status for that parameter so let's say for an example now another user is collaborating over here that uh, he want to perform some test and what was the status it was completed so he is just updating that thing now from here let me just make it bold right so this is how uh, the table component is looking like and the last component over here which is very useful which is task list component. This is one of my favorite one because it provides you the flexibility of task who is assigned to that particular task 
and its due date creation so what happen here is as a project manager you can define all the task and share it with your team you can also assign specific task to specific person and it provides you the people picker column over here as well so you need to simply select the name of the person you simply need to select the due date and you just need to provide the task and you are good to go so basically this is the last component which was task list so whenever you are doing that for the first time as a task list basically it will provide you the default structure like this right so this is really really cool so we discussed about all six loop components which is providing you the real time collaboration now let me talk about loop pages i already discussed about this but let me discuss in brief once you are creating all of this loop component basically it is stored as a fluid file into your onedrive for business for that you simply need to open up your onedrive and you need to open up microsoft teams chat file and over here you can see all the created fluid files over here this fluid file is something which is responsible for your loop component so whenever you click on that basically you are able to see the same loop component that you have defined into your microsoft teams with this i have covered all the loop components in detail tell me in the comment section which is your favorite loop component now it's time for quiz so remember one thing you need to give the answer of the quiz question only in the comment section if you wanted to give the answer of question 1 you need to type q1 and then a b c or d so let's get started with the question the first question is which is the best loop component for real time task assignment option a table option b task list option c checklist and option d all above the second question is loop pages are stored at fill in the blanks means which location a one drive for business b one not c office 365 and d teams chat so these are the two question keep your answer in the comment section and one lucky winner will get a shout out from my instagram and youtube page if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for training or consultancy visit my website full training curriculum is available there If you want to follow me on all my social media handle here is the link and don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page from here Also if you are interested for audio podcast this is the podcast link Also if you are looking for any short content on power platform or hindi content here is a dedicated channel called digital dhruvin Subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well With this This is Dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye